have never been to the offices of the Westwood Family Chiropractic, I highly recommend that you at least pay a visit because it's very relaxing. Dr. Peter Kevorkian is with me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Tom, it's an honor to be here. I'm looking forward to this. You know, I'm not a big fan of winter per se, but when you look out the window today, this is the one day I'll give it a pass because it's no longer snowing. We're recording this on the 24th and there is a beautiful, just a beautiful view. You yeah. got the snow on the trees and everything else. It, I, I, I'm with you. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, stunning. I love it. And you know what's uh, great here is uh, in the when it is snowing, when you have the big flakes of snow, I feel like I'm in the middle of a snow globe. It's, it's, it's awesome. The history of this building, this practice, is fascinating to me. And I got to know you last April a little bit. That's where our relationship started. First of all, thank you for your support of Westwood Living. Without sponsors like you, it wouldn't exist. So well, I need I, to start with that. I, t- I got to tell you, what you were doing to build and nurture community is absolutely it's it's awesome. I think you're you're blending together the historical and and values of of Westwood with contemporary communication, first class publication, a connection in the internet. I I love what you're doing and, and I appreciate it. I need to put you in my pocket for every sales presentation <laughs> because all of those key buzzwords you just said are exactly what it's about. And what you talked about right there was history. And right. you've got history. You've got four decades of history. In this Don't town. remind me. It's hard well, to believe. Yeah, it's crazy to think, though, that you've been here this long, serving the community for that long, and you've gone, I mean, even moving this building back to where it is now. I mean, think about when you started, and, and from a broad stroke perspective, did you ever think that it would develop into what it's developed into? You know, the vision, Tom, when we started down the street in, uh, you know, down by Dover Road, um, was to create family practice. And, and it, was, it was Westwood Family Chiropractic, to nurture families, help build the well-being of families. When we moved here in 1991, um, I wanted to, to tack on community. And that was the whole aspect is let's create a community of people that wanted to support a well-being, vitality, and, and not just try to fix problems, but try to build community, of, of, of be all that we can be. So that was the vision. So yes, uh, you know, uh, it's like you need to see it in your mind's eye before it actu- becomes actualized. They said that Walt Disney never saw Disney World in Florida, but he did see it. He saw it in his mind and could share that vision with enough people that helped bring it to fruition. Uh, I think that Patty and I, my wife, uh, Patty Giuliano and myself, had a vision of what we were going to create. And this is the culmination of that. Well, I've been so amazed at what I've learned in the months that I've gotten to know you. I mean, the first time that we sat here, you said, oh, excuse me, I have to go adjust a couple animals. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I mean, even that is eye-opening to somebody who may not know much about the chiropractic world, mm-hmm. is that not only are you treating adults and children and babies, mm-hmm. but you're also treating animals. And that mm-hmm. goes back to the basic tenant of your spine being the epicenter of your being. So just tell me a little bit about how most people don't understand how critical it is to keep that spine healthy for everyday function. Absolutely. Everything that happens in our bodies, Tom. Everything. Everything from conversation, speaking, digestion of food, thought processes, making love, going to exercise, being at work, being with your family. Everything is connected through your nervous system. The brain is the master control that controls everything in the body and it uses the spine as its mean to communicate. It's like the switchboard. So anytime that there's any kind of interruption from optimal well-being of the spine, it's going to affect how well you engage in your world. Keep the spine healthy, you got a healthy life. It, it is it, it's as simple as that. The spine is the your lifeline. Keep it healthy. It's an important, critical piece of, of a person's well-being or an animal's. So what drew you to this when you go back to the moment in time that you said you know what I want to be a chiropractor what was it about this profession that was so attractive to you Uh, so I was a student of engineering I was in engineering school and I loved engineering I went to Tufts College (coughs) I loved math I loved science I was doing great but as I began to look at engineers (coughs) and see what they were doing I said I don't know if I want to do that all day long Uh, you know, sitting and drafting, designing. Um, I felt I wanted to have more people contact than I knew that I would have 
uh, you know, uh, working as an engineer. Well, you're a people person. It's evident <laughs> in the first five minutes to see you that you need to interact with people just to you know right. give yourself yeah, an injection yeah, yeah. of life. So uh, I started considering other things, uh, everything from education and different forms of healthcare and and business. Um, and I was seeing a chiropractor uh, during my freshman year in college. And one day when I'm on the table and I'm getting my spinal adjustment, uh, I just go to my chiropractor who I called Dr. C, it was Dr. Cordima. Um, and I said, how do you learn how to do this? And uh, brings the table up and he says, well, this is how you do it. And so he explained to me the process of education, you know, uh, you need prerequisites. You know, at that point, you didn't need a bachelor's degree. Nowadays you do. Uh, and you go to chiropractic school and it's, it's four years after that. And um, I started to research it. And I, I very much got aligned to its philosophy um, and the idea that the body is a self-healing, self-regulating organism and keep the body healthy and working the way that it's designed to, it can handle many of its problems and, and adapt to the world optimally. So I love that whole idea of, of you know, not needing medications, not needing treatments, not needing uh, the, the, the anything from the outside, that everything existed already on the inside, let's get to the inside to mm -hmm. work as best as possible. So the, the whole approach made sense to me. Uh, I researched going to chiropractic school. I completed my bachelor's degree. I got my degree in engineering, and then I started a, at Palmer College in Davenport, Iowa, middle of nowhere, <coughs> and, and, and got trained as a chiropractor. Um, so that, that's, that, that's your short story. There, there's some interesting nuances in there. I don't know if the, you know, the readers wanna, or the <laughs> listeners want to well, want to go there, but that, that's a short story. But ba basically, an engineer who decided rather than engineering buildings, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to engineer spines and bodies. So you take it to the uh, literal extreme here with Westwood Family Chiropractic because you go into business with your wife. Well, so <laughs> how did that come about? So I, when I graduated, I wasn't sure if I wanted to come back to the New England area um, to, for permanent. You know, I, my best friend at that time was in California and I was considering practicing with him. But something inside of me said I need to go back to Boston. And so I came back to the Boston area. Uh, I associated with Dr. Cordima, the guy who I sent me to chiropractic college and during uh, the, my first year or so there we were participating in a health fair in the greater Boston area his practice was in Arlington uh, at that health fair I met Patty my my, uh, my wife now and uh, that, that's an interesting love story actually it's uh, I, 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 we can go there if should you I want cue to. the music I don't I don't know if I have a music bed <laughs> to set us up for that Okay, so feel free. Th th this is actually a lovely story. It's 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 a lovely story. So, um, Patty's office. Patty had started a practice in downtown Boston, and she was part of this health fair that was happening. And it was the New England Lifestyle Show back then. And every office, there were like thirty offices participating. Mine was one of them. Hers was one of them. Um, and everybody contributed something, you know, whether it was chairs or, or postural machines or weight scales or brochures, whatever. Everybody brought a little bit of something, and we all took different times to um, be there to do spinal screenings and offer education about chiropractic. Um, when the show was over, I uh, d did not go back to pick up the things that my office had contributed uh, to take you know, to bring them back. Um, Patty's office, because she was the closest, and she was there when it closed, took all of the chairs and the brochures and stuff back to her place. Team player. Cussing my office. <laughs> Who is uh, this guy? <laughs> a few weeks later, she sees me at a meeting and says, um, are you from Cordima Chiropractic? Somebody pointed her out to me, and I said, yes. And she says, well, you left all your... I can't say it <laughs> at, <laughs> at my at, at the fair. You never picked it up and I burned and, it and I brought it to my office. And my mother said that if you want it, you need to take me out to dinner. Oh, wow. Smooth, yeah, yeah, Patty. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, but, well, wait a the, this is the best part. But you can't come next week because I'm going to Atlanta to visit my fiance. Oh, wow. Yeah. So Patty with some drama. Yeah. So so a week later, uh, uh, she's back in town. Uh, I take her out to lunch. I pick up my stuff. <laughs> and the, the entire time we were at lunch, uh, you know, she's t talking about her office and stuff. And she's really sweet. Give her a hug. Go back you know, to, our, to our lives. Well, two weeks later, I get a phone call from my closest friend growing up. 
Uh, he and I grew up next door to each other. We had our diapers changed together. And he was a financial planner at the time. And uh, my friend Steve would call me every, um, you know, a couple times a year. And we'd get together and go out for pizza and beer, whatever, bowling. And that's why I thought he was calling me. He calls me on the phone. He says, hey, Peter, I just, I was doing cold calls. And I, I went to lunch with a friend of yours. I said, who's that? He says, well, Patty Giuliano. She's a new chiropractor in Boston. I said, oh, yeah, really sweet lady. We had lunch a, a week or so ago. Um, he goes to me and says, well, she's got the hots for you. <laughs> I said, come on, Steve. He said, well, she really does. And I, I'm thinking to myself, is it, she's engaged. What's, you know, what's that about? And so it was one of those moments, Tom, that I hang up the phone. It was, it was on a wall phone. I'm in, in the consultation room at the office I was working in, and I stared at the phone for at least a minute, if not, if not longer, volleying in my head. The woman's engaged. Why would I call her? But she's really sweet. You know, maybe she wants to go out on a date. Well, I, you know, so I volley the thought back. I said, well, I'm just going to call her. I said, lunch is lunch, right? So I call her on the phone, ask her out uh, on a date. Uh, that was um, the first time we went to lunch. The, 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 the business thing to pick it up mm -hmm. was April 1st. The second time we got together for dinner, it was three weeks later. We were engaged that June, married that September. Wow. So just the cosmic connection. That's yeah. great. That's what it comes to. That's yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah. So, so I was, it was meant to be. I love it. it. Absolutely well, meant to be. And it's a partnership that is not only personal, but also professional, and it has 100%. expanded. 100%. And what I've also learned in the months since we first met, and now my daughter comes and, and mm -hmm. receives tr some treatment here, which is great and has benefited her, is how it works. And the fact that, you know, there are hours, yes, but... Because it's so quick, any specific spinal adjustment it does, takes no more than five minutes right. at most. Right. So you don't necessarily make an appointment. It's almost an open door policy where you walk in and you kind of wait, depending on how many people are here. Right. That's unique. It's different than most doctor's offices in that way. So the, the first few visits need to be scheduled sure. because that's our time to learn about a person's needs. They learn about what we do. We understand what's going on with their body. So it's educational as well as informative for both, you know, both us to learn about a person's body. But the actual giving of an adjustment mm -hmm. is like turning on a light switch. It doesn't take very, very long. Uh, so it can take a couple minutes, five minutes. Actually, the first few adjustments are the longest adjustments, and they're usually about five minutes, but, but it goes down with mm -hmm. time because we become more familiar with a person. People schedule appointments, but like, ish appointments like yeah. uh, 10 ish be there around so, five yeah yeah <laughs> and and it so it becomes extremely flexible and it doesn't work for everybody i mean somebody who needs to be in at 10 o'clock and be out by 10 15 it may not be the right office for them but by and large it works and there are little pockets of the time that there's nobody here people walk in and walk out uh but the usual uh, we've actually calculated the average uh, time from walking in the office to leaving the office is through you going across the week is actually 15 minutes tops yeah i can attest to it i bring olivia here and sometimes i come in and grab a cup of coffee while i wait other times i wait in the car and next thing i know i've returned a couple text messages and bam she's back so right. yeah it, do it doesn't take very very long and uh particularly there's uh three of us working here right now to mm -hmm. be able to serve uh, our practice members so so it's a very it, it, we want it to fit into people's lives my, my vision isn't that people just come and fix a problem my vision is they i want people to use chiropractic care as part of their general health and well-being for a lifetime and if that's what i want i need to allow it to fit into people's lives so i start early i start at 6 a.m i work late till 6 30 uh, I, I, we create efficiency of the process so people can come in and out. Uh, visions that we need to do a uh, thorough exam or reevaluation or new x-rays or, or, or anything of that sort, obviously we schedule differently, but, but it, it's a very easy way for people to improve their health and well-being. Well, you set the table for another episode, which we're going to record right now and release later, which is just the concept of general health and well-being and how you're committed to that and do many things, including Zoom sessions where people can sign up and just learn more about their right. overall right. well-being. So we're going to get to that. But for now, a really good get to know you. Once again, thank you so much for your support. For those of you listening, don't forget, you can go to westwoodfamilychiropractic.com. They're at 1446 High Street here, right on 109, very close to McCracken and across from the, uh, the vet's office. So... It's a staple. Been here for 40 years. So come check it out. Learn more about it. And, you know, your spine is the epicenter. If you've learned anything in this episode, your spine is the epicenter. So thanks so much for joining it's us. It's been an honor. Thank you, Tom. Thank you.